Hello everybody, and welcome to the last episode of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. That's right, the last episode. The hero's last episode and the hero and the dark last episode were not enough for you. They decided Stories to include the last story. When you by completing both the heroes and the dark sides, the last story unlocks. It's not that long, but I really thought it was cool how they included this. And like in newer games, it doesn't matter so much because you're just playing as you have to play as all characters to unlock it, and it's not really as great as this one is. But still, what happened after Eggman put the last Chaos Emerald in? What's with the warnings? What happened 50 years ago on Space Con the Ark? Let's figure that out together. Approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed, along with your beloved planet Earth. scientific minds in the world, and my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else... I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? You're still alive, huh? Just letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The, the colony, colony was completely was shut down, down probably, probably to keep to the keep prototype the from prototype falling into the wrong hands. Into the wrong hands. The Ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the Ark was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died 
because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way. I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all to Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind to be perfect, pure. I will leave everything to him. If you wish, release and awaken it if to the world. If you wish to fill the world with destruction. Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. The core of the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with her, it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather pretty. That mad scientist! That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now! The space colony arc position may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm. That's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the Master Emerald has the power to stop the Chaos Emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the Chaos Emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emerald is moving toward the cannon's core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Let's get to work! Welcome to the Cannons Core! It looks like a Sonic stage, doesn't it? <laughs> Leave it all to Sonic, huh? No, we're Tails! <laughs> Cannons Core is a stage that involves all the characters in the game, except Shadow. We also have the shield bots. You have to wait for them to shoot. And yeah, this level takes on a series of, uh, how many is it? I forget. Oh, there's also these special timer switches. I will stand on it, so I can have as much time in the world to explain stuff about this level. Basically, this timer switch will stop time. As you can see in the top left, my timer counter is even stopped, too. Enemies are stopped. I can shoot it to help give me some extra time. And yeah, Cannon's Core, the final level. This is why I love the ending so much, because the heroes and the villains both have to team up in order to stop this chaos that his grandfather predicted. He thought it was for something different, like it was for, uh, say, what was it again that I was trying to do? I forget. Somehow I forgot. Uh, almost yeah, it doesn't even work, thankfully, so that's nice. Uh, basically, we're trying to stop uh, Eggman's grandfather from being a crazy psychopath. Nothing that special. Something we were trying to do as the heroes from the beginning. Gotta make sure these are gone. I could have got probably gotten something perfect there. I do not trust myself. And I got hurt. No, not my rings! Uh, the important thing is, there are... Let's see, how else do I explain it? Laser tripwires disappear when you hit those two. Everything just stops. It's just so much easier, and... Yes, as we can see, we're already at the end, and it's only a minute into here, but it's really more like a couple of minutes based on actual viewing. Uh, here's where it's important. Uh, try and make sure you actually have rings between this area and the next area. Uh, if you can, try and like time things out perfectly. Like right now, I'm gonna wait and now shoot it. I'm gonna shoot it when I get up here and start bamming this spam this door. Once this door is destroyed. I've completed the level as Tails. Right. And 
And now we immediately change our characters to that of Eggman. So yeah, I really meant it when we're playing as all characters. We are going to change the characters as we go through, trying to open everyone's door to allow Sonic to reach the end. Everyone except for Shadow again, which as we saw from before, knew about this whole thing and it set this whole thing up just to destroy the world. Out of request of Avenging Maria. Now isn't that interesting? Again, enemies we have to wait for, very annoying. Get all the rings you can, because again, the rings are important. So yeah, again, we got all the power-ups that we had from the previous levels aren't wasted because we do have this final level to use them on. Again, except for Shadow. But, just because Shadow's not here doesn't mean we're not going to play as him anymore. We still got a few more things. First off, we got this weird goo room, which I got a perfect setup for it, thankfully. <laughs> I'm just going to jump through it. Well, I can. Get everything out of the way. Once that's almost there... Uh... I'm gonna actually just let this go so I can get a ride up this thing. So yeah, it's nice. It's like little teleportation. Like Chaos Control. We finally get to utilize it. Always shoot that thing down if you can. And... I'm gonna shoot down that... COMPLETELY! Give me all the points I can in the world. Because really, you have as much time as you want to try and get a perfect rank. Also, uh, that checkpoint looks to be our first checkpoint. It's really our second checkpoint. Every time you change characters, it's a checkpoint. So this one's just going to give me some points, so... Uh, here, you're going to fall down regardless of what you do, sadly. Uh, there's nothing. There's no lasers. Now there's lasers. There's no lasers while the lasers are going, so I probably should have just fell really fast. I'm gonna shoot down that so at least I can rush over here, get to the door, destroy those before they have the chance, and. Hales is right, the security door is right over there, so we're almost done with Eggman. I'm gonna just shoot this, get the rings, because rings are worth points, and hopefully an extra life. And that, I'm gonna go up, and no! I lost all my rings. How sad. It's okay though. I can lose rings and everything will still be fine. I just gotta, uh, get the right height. Actually, I think I can do it from right here, thankfully. So I can just finish the level as of this moment. Yeah, I can finish the level. Let's finish the level! Spam break, open the door. And next up is Rouge. We only have one more security gate to go, but we can't do it with these guys and their terrible weapons. However, we can't shoot the door down like we could the other two. So instead, we gotta find the switch for it. The objective this time is to try and find Rouge's switch here. Uh, actually, we're just trying to drain the liquids so we can get up. Since, so the other two can't get up. So, uh, yeah. We do that by activating that, breaking through this guy. And... Activating these switches when the time is right, so we can get through the area as fast as we can. I'm gonna hit... HIT THE SWITCH! I don't want to deal with this, because, uh... This is problematic, honestly. No, 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 no! Oh, good thing I got it. I want to destroy the enemies, because they're annoying. No, I had it activate for a tiny bit of time. The problem is, is that uh, a huge cutscene will play out. And I want to keep the switch hit during the cutscene. So I need to knock it over like that, and boom. See, there goes time. And now that that's all good, I have to hit it again. Because, yeah. Oh, I actually got perfect timing with this. Uh... Let's go. Hopefully I can get through the whole thing. Ah, oh, 
far, so close! Oh well, it doesn't matter, There's, there should be a timer down here that I can hit easily. And I lost the rings again. I really can't keep the rings. The good news is I don't need that many rings to actually score, I just need to make it to the end. Oh, and I should hit the switch, because time's still gonna go by. Anyways, it's time for Knuckles. That's Rouge's area. And here we are with Knuckles. So yeah, remember all that time ago when I said the air necklace is going to be a really great power-up? Guess what? This is the level that you want it for. Because this whole level is just swimming. And Knuckles is the only guy who can swim. So it's a good thing he can get the air necklace. And Rouge really can't. Not really much we can do. So yeah, freezing time allows us to, uh... Uh, go through air currents now, or uh, water currents, and we're gonna need to do that to activate the switch to activate the last gate. We need to get to the cannon's core because, yeah. I really love how they made this whole level dedicated to just stopping the, uh, problem of it, where the heroes and the bad guys team up just to do this. I really thought it was cool how they did this in this game. One of the reasons why I really love this game, because of the final story. Anyways, uh, there's no air current here, but, yeah. I'm going to try and avoid everything. Oh crap, that is not what I thought it was. Anyways, yeah, otherwise you'd have to grab those bubbles there. So they did make it a requirement, but it's still a pain. There we go. There goes all the enemies. I really want to deal with them all, and there's the timer. I'm trying to find you to stop the current. But yeah, the main reason why this level is so annoying is because of the air, the timer, the fact you can't breathe, you still can't breathe even with timer stopped also. And yeah, just, just everything in general. It's not nice. Also, this area is not nice. All right. Thankfully, there's a bubble, so I can take a hit. Finally, I can take a hit without losing my uh, things. Can I find the... S oh, it's right in the center. Hit it. And let's grab the rest of the rings for points. Thankfully, you can... It freezes the actual time limit, too. So it's not as long, and... Oh, yeah, I should probably mention this is the biggest level in the game. Because <laughs> you have to switch through all the characters. However, the timer says otherwise. So, yeah. That's probably because we're switching through all the characters in this one stage. So, anyways, let's hit that switch. That's all we gotta do now. Now that we've gone through this whole area, let's hit that switch and let go the Sonic's portion. So yeah, this is it, the final section with Sonic. Thankfully, there's only one checkpoint in the- there's only one more checkpoint in the level. And if you're actually trying to, uh, focus on trying to- ah, screw it, I'm jumping off the edge. Yeah, your rings and score are kept between characters, and they count as a checkpoint. Now isn't that something? I'm gonna try the light attack on this enemy. Damn, light attack is really good versus that enemy. Let's get out of here. But yeah, if you die, you won't have to worry because the last I need to kill these enemies! That's the only way to open the door over here. See so yeah, how with this door now opened, you can now jump. And I'm gonna hit that. So I can do, uh, this. And I'm not restarting because that sends me to the very beginning. And the bombs still hurt me? The bombs still hurt me! What is this? Ow. 
Ah, dang, I want to hit them all, but I only hit the one. Oh, well. Let's destroy you. Destroy you so I can get up here. That's right. Bonus points. Ha ha ha. And, uh, yeah, we're all at the end of the level now. So let's get this activated so I can go up here. Counts up. Light dash, and we're done. Okay, we're not done, but now we're done. We just gotta go down this whole slide area, and it looks like there's no checkpoint here. But yeah, go down the slide, collect as many rings as we can. That's it. That's it. The last area is this slide. Get the rings for end game purposes, and that's it! We cleared the level. Cannon's core is complete. No more levels in the game. I hope I got an A rank. Probably not, but I hope I did. Yeah! That was cool! It's easy to get an A rank if you know what you're doing. It's now time to see what else happens. And what's with Shadow, anyways? I hate it when they leave me behind. Look! It's Shadow! I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I! Shadow! We need you! Please help us! It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Oh, I beg of you, please, do it for me. Maria! For all people who live on that planet, give them a chance to be happy. Let them live for their dreams. Shadow, I know you can do it. That's the reason. I promised her. I must keep that promise. That's what I really wished for. I've got to go now. I have to keep my promise to Maria. And you. like the Shrine of the Master Emerald. They probably designed the core like the Shrine to harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds. All of you ungrateful humans who took everything away from me will feel the my fear loss and despair. Leave this one to me. Shadow, what are you doing? I'll take care of this while you run to get the Chaos Emerald. Say hello to the prototype of the ultimate life form. Shadow, the bio lizard. Not the hedgehog, Shadow the Bio Lizard. So, uh, yeah, we're fighting this as Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow versus Shadow. 
Great showdown. A big ugly lizard that's opening its mouth like... <laughs> yeah, basically, when it uh, gets tired and needs its energy, right at these rails to attack its life support. That's the only way to earn it. It is a prototype, after all. Shadow is the ultimate life form, but that's just a prototype. Okay? Prototypes have issues. Anyways, yeah. It appears this whole issue, all these problems game, because Shadow had a little bit of a memory lapse. Forgot exactly what Maria wanted. Also, he's a Pokemon. He can use Shadow Ball. <laughs> Not that effective against... Okay, maybe it's very effective against Shadow. Actually, you know, Ghost type versus Ghost? I mean, I consider him a Dark type, so it's not really effective. Yeah, basically, depending on the height they use, it depends on how you should you go about using it. If he's high above, uh, if it's up, then you have to jump up. Or if it's up, you somersault under it. Else, if it's on the ground, you jump over it. Also, those little pits will kill you if you get caught in them. So watch out. So yeah, uh... Wait for him to use Shadow Ball again. I'm gonna jump over all the Shadow Balls. Doesn't matter my distance to him. So long as I basically avoid all the hits. And I'm away from that thing, because I don't trust it. Let's ride up the, the rails and hit him again. He's only half dead now. Let's get going. Ah! No! I want his mouth to chase me, because I don't like his tail chasing me. For some reason, I just doesn't feel as uncomfortable. And let me jump over it. The, the view on this boss really isn't that good, honestly, because you don't know when to jump. All you know is that you gotta jump over these things, you gotta go through those things like that. And yeah. Now he's doing a new attack. He doesn't need those pipes anymore. He's now sending these flying pink balls. What you gotta do is bounce off these. A shadow. And homing attack the center part. Not as difficult, but it's a little bit more difficult, especially when you've got, like, a set number of rings to watch out for. Again, rings don't go to the... It ate me! He ate me! And I'm dead, aren't I? I just realized I'm inside of it, aren't I? I was inside of it. Um, please give me some rings. Game. Well, that's not gonna happen now. If I get hit, I'm dead. Jeez, that's gonna suck if I get hit. Okay, I avoided. That's good. Alright, oh, there's one ring. I must get that ring. No matter what the cost. Alright. Boom, I got an extra life. That's good. So yeah, these pink things are going to be attacking us, so we might want to watch out. Yeah, we can homing attack that, but we gotta watch out too for uh, stuff like that. Anyways, we're at the final hit. He decides, I hate gravity. I'm gonna get rid of it. It's been hurting me. Also, there's another ring. So now we all once again avoid the pink balls. Actually, this time we have to avoid the pink balls instead of locking onto them. And then homing attack it, and we're done. You know, my first try. That's pretty nice. So yeah, we got all characters in play now. Get out. The prototype is down, and now all we have to do is stop the Chaos Emeralds. The servers are the Seven Chaos. Chaos is power. Power is enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. Only you can do this. Stop the Chaos Emeralds! Sonic. 
Snake. And now we have the final hazard, Shadow still, but it's still, it's still a prototype, and now we get to play as Supersonic. Okay, so I'm gonna actually continue start talking now because before the reason I wasn't talking is because I just love this song. Anyways, Super Sonic and Super Shadow controls. Uh, A lets you go up, B lets you go down. Don't touch anything except that swelling point. That's how you deal damage to the final hazard. If you're in trouble, head down to the bottom corner where the arc is. And I mean the lower corner. That's the best way to survive. And it allows you to completely avoid all their attacks. And then, once you reach the bottom and pass the final hazard, uh, you will swap characters. It's the safest way to go, otherwise he's got these lasers and those attacks still. So for now, we're going to try and avoid his attacks. Oh yeah, when you swap characters, the amount of rings that you've lost overall are how much you get. So uh, I'm going to actually swap characters. I'm swapping characters because that is just getting really risky. Here I come, you creep. Let's go. Yeah, the more time we waste, uh, the closer it's going to get to the colony. If we take too much time, it'll crash, and we just outright lose. And I'm getting hit by these stupid lasers all the time. The music is good and that stuff, but I really hate the lasers, honestly. Get back to the colony. Yeah, I'm trying to, but the lasers keep hitting me. Ah, uh, I think I'm dead. I'm gonna try and see if I can make it back to the colony in time. I ran out of super form, and after beating the boss, ah! I was just about to make it to the colony too. All right, let's try this again. You know, it would be a lot better if they just offered it by a switch of the button if you're too far out. And they just grab it, the more you use it, the less rings you'll have overall each time. That would have been cool. Wow. But yeah, 
This boss does have its flaws. I hate the laser. I don't like that stuff in the final hits. But it's still a pretty cool fought fight because it's the colony heading towards the planet to destroy it all. And this thing pretty much has the thing shoved up its butt trying to get through it. It's like, oh my god, I should probably shut up now. I mean, seriously, it's <laughs> shoved up its butt. What else can I say about it? The colony is literally going straight up his butt there. It's really messed up. But it's really determined to destroy the planet, though. I have to say. Stupid double lasers, I hate you! So much! No! No! Ah, I hate double lasers! I swear the double lasers are going to be the end of me. Yes, it's gone! So yeah, every time that happens, we... After the last two hits, only have 40 rings, sadly. So it'd be nice... Nice to get a swap out, but actually, wow, that was really easy. <laughs> One more hit, and we're good. And we've done it. We defeated the final hazard. Oh, one more hit. Go, Shadow, go! Let's finish this off. Let's end this adventure. Did he seriously just get a double hit there? Come on, I must make it now. Oh, I did it! That's it, it's down. Game complete. I must destroy all the evil the professor has created. This is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. Shadow? Do you really think that the professor created him, oh Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess you're right. As a child, I looked up to my grandfather because of all the great things he accomplished in his life. He was my hero, and I wanted to be a great scientist like him. What? Did he really mean to destroy us? I don't know, but what I do know is... We all did it together! You're right. So what's next for you, Rouge? Off again to find those jewels you love so much? Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work for too little pay. Anyway, I've got something better than jewels that I'm thinking about right now. It'll all work out. We'll see. If you say so. Come on, let's go. 
let's go home to the planet as cool and blue as me. So yeah, that's the final hazard. That is the final chapter. So yeah, Sonic and Shadow teamed up to destroy it, and Shadow ended off sacrificing himself just to ensure that he could keep his promise to Maria. That, it's, yeah, Shadow's gone. In fact, originally I don't, Shadow wasn't even planned to come back after this. Apparently he was just so popular because of how he was in this game, because he's really good in this game, honestly, that they, he came back. And then they brought him back, and then you know what happens with him then. Mm, I thought it might be better if they just kept him here, honestly dead, you know? Might have been a better legacy than what he's created after that. But yeah, I really love this game. Although that might be the fact that this was honestly the first Sonic game I've ever played, because when I grew up, I played the NES and stuff, and obviously the first Sonic game that ever would come by here was on the GameCube, so this is the first time I ever got my instance of this game, or of the series. It's This was my gateway into the Sonic games, and I love this game. The 2D games are also really good, but I really love this game because of it. No 2D game I found of, no 3D Sonic game has ever been able to top that. There have been some that I like, some that I don't, and yeah. I'm happy I came back to, ret to return to this game. Some people thinking that like, oh, it's just Genesis. It's like uh, the Dreamcast fans, and yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's it with the last story. So yeah, with that, uh, thank you so much for watching, and yeah, good night, everybody.